With successful dating shows like The Bachelor featuring only straight couples, many have wondered whether the LGBTQ community would ever get a spotlight of its own. Well, wait no more, because Tampa Bay's A New Show Shining Light on Lesbian Romance is coming your way. Everybody knows each other. Unlike many other dating shows that get new singles to mingle, this new eight-episode unscripted reality series focuses on 12 friends who are part of the IT crowd in the Tampa Bay scene, where the lesbian community is very tight-knit. They all have hung in the same circle for quite some time, are always together, and some even dated each other. It's not awkward because, you know, lesbians. Which means we can expect there to be quite a lot of juicy insider secrets spilled. We're best friends together 24-7 with a lot of drama to come. It was actually two of the cast members, Haley and Brianna's idea to start a show following the lives of their friends in their early 20s to early 30s in the Tampa Bay area that go on adventures and battle the stereotypes to come with their identity. In 2021, shows like this are quite overdue. Diversity. While several cast members are biracial, including an Iranian and a Native American woman, and their backgrounds and cultures are explored in several episodes, the show has gotten a lot of slack for its lack of diversity. When the promotional image was released, the show faced heavy backlash for not including more Hispanic women, given the high Latino population there, as well as for the absence of lesbians who don't present feminine features. It was even pointed out that the casting did not adhere to the paper bag test, meaning there was a lack of dark-skinned women chosen for representation. It's not always gonna be easy. One commenter under the trailer wrote, as much as I want to love it, again, no representation, and I live out here. There are tons of African Americans and people of color, especially at Tampa Pride and St. Pete Pride. It would have taken five minutes to add a few. Y'all keep acting like we don't exist and wonder why we don't care about your little shows. However, executive producer O'Malley defended the casting telling Tampa Bay Times, not every show in the history of TV can nail it all. We always strive for that, but ultimately we're working with a pre-existing group of friends that we feel are very diverse and bring a lot to the table and that are authentically themselves. He continued advocating for the show by mentioning that there are diverse people running behind the scenes, such as editors, production assistants, and producers. It looks like these Tampa Bays are already in hot waters. Heartfelt scenes. What's a dating show without some emotional conversations? Producer O'Malley opened up about his project saying, each person is at a pivotal moment in their lives, whether it's relationship stuff, getting married, getting engaged, or what it's like being young and trying to find yourselves. He continued, these women are going through quarter-life crises just like everyone else, and they happen to be gay. O'Malley added that some of the cast still haven't come out to their family members, which makes the bond between the girls so special. They are each other's chosen family. May hours last forever or something like that. <laughs> LGBTQ friendly. Tampa Bay's would touch on very pivotal life moments for those in the LGBTQ community, including their struggles, their coming out stories, and how they felt growing up. Everybody's experiences are different, and producer O'Malley wants to shine a light on that. Ultimately, his goal is to bridge the gap between the gay and straight community and how they're portrayed on TV. For instance, executive producer Melissa Bidwell claims that it's not portraying fantasies that men have about lesbians. She says, Okay, sure, everyone in the cast is above average in terms of attractiveness. It is television after all. And sure, there are going to be hookups. And of course it's going to be seen. But that isn't what the show is about. Vernon Sanders, co-head of television at Amazon Studios, introduces Tampa Bay's as being fun and celebratory. In a world where there's a dearth of content centering dynamic lesbian women, Amazon Studios is excited to bring this vibrant look at these women's lives and give the world a real entry point to undoubtedly know and love them, he said. Sounds like a promising start. Cast. Let's get to know who our 12 Tampa Bays are. For starters, there's Allie, whose style is a mix of girly and grunge. She moved to Tampa Bay a few years ago to be with her girlfriend Nelly, a makeup artist. The two have been a couple for years. One look at their Instagrams and you'd know they aren't afraid to show some PDA, which we bet we'll get a lot more of on screen. <laughs> Six years, baby. Next, there is Shiva, a first-generation Iranian-American whose cultural differences make her stick out from the crowd. In the trailer, we see her sharing her ethnic food with the girls and letting viewers get a glimpse of traditional family rules. Uh, but my mom says you have to finish everything on your plate. She's got beauty and brains as she works as a business analyst that knows how to have a good time. Jordan is a nurse who moved to the area in hopes of searching for romance. She failed, but stuck around the area to have great times with her friends. 
Marissa is an older member of the squad at 30 years old. She lives with her girlfriend Summer, who actually moved to Tampa to be with her. If you want more of an introduction to these two, you can catch them on Summer's YouTube channel called Her and I. You'll see that there are a lot of nurses in this friend group, as Cuppy is also one, and runs a fitness training program on the side. She went back to school to pursue a nurse practitioner degree. Brianna is originally from New Jersey and now lives with her girlfriend Haley. She's built many businesses over the years, from real estate to, surprisingly, animal grooming, and now adding reality TV star to her resume. Meanwhile, Haley decided to move to Tampa Bay for its famed LGBTQ scene and has no regrets. She hasn't been fully accepted by her close circle, but her relationship with Brianna is worth it. Originally from Pennsylvania, Melanie moved to Tampa years ago. She now is a famed muralist who travels to create her art. Her website states that she is inspired by feminine beauty, using the human form to translate feelings of love and happiness. Sounds like a creative girl. Yes, and a mom to all of the girls. <laughs> Initially from the conservative state of Alabama, Olivia feels like her true self in the city. She's a bit of a tomboy who likes to spend time outdoors with dogs and ride on her skateboard. Lastly, there's Mac, who is the true Tampa native. The girl even has a podcast called Mackin' in Florida. This looks like a cast with very diversified interests. We'll have to see just how well these bays can handle their differences. Wild Wild Tampa. If there's one thing you can expect from these babes is that they know how to have fun. Just from the trailer, we can see the girls heating things up with exotic dances, champagne spraying, dinners together, club fights, body painting, and a whole lot of partying. Tampa Bay may just be the new Jersey Shore. Filming locations. There would be various well-known spots that locals would recognize. For instance, there's axe throwing and longboarding in St. Pete club hopping in White Lie Ybor, as well as bead throwing at the famous Tampa Pride Parade. It looks like these bays would definitely be putting Tampa on the map. COVID precautions. As the show was filmed during the pandemic, Amazon Studios makes it known that there were many safety measures put into place. For instance, a COVID team was hired to take daily temperature checks. The crew had to wear masks and sanitize effectively. Producers also had as many outdoor scenes as possible, such as when playing tennis and softball or having exterior seating at bars, such as Fergs and Caddies. The cast even got to set sail on a tiki boat. Given that it's hot all year round in Tampa, they really used the hot climate to their advantage. Plus, the cast features three nurses, Marissa, Jordan, and Cuppy, so they were bound to be as cautious as possible. It looks like the show will be full of romance, scandalous secrets, and a whole lot of craze. Are you going to give Tampa Bay's a chance? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video if you want to stay up to date on the latest reality TV news, and we'll see you next time on The Things Reality.